Hey, it's KMA, how's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Once again, we are on the Mr. Craft server for episode number two. And I'm just hanging outside my house. And we see that building popping up. And it looks like something's being made over there. I thought at first it was a tree farm, but I think uh, kind of googly is just uh, measuring out a roof, maybe? I don't know. Be interesting to see what she does. Anyways, just hanging out here because um, I've been thinking about what to do here because I need farms and stuff. Let's, uh, let me just show you something downstairs. We're gonna invite you to the basement. It's an unfinished basement right now, but I think I'm gonna be finishing it up because, you know, it's so dirt. What? What? Dirt? A oh, ladder? What? No, this, this ain't a basement. And I, I got the fishing farm here and I extended the uh, storage here. So I uh, wanted to do a long AFK session and I just started throwing, you know, extra stuff in storage there. Because, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to get my uh, inventory out of the AFK fishing farm and just into some chests that I'm going to keep. So I cleared out this area and I decided, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make some sort of great basement down here. I've already decided to come from down here. I'm going to have uh, slime block launchers to come out from getting checking out the chest. I'm going to have a nice little area for the chest down there and the storage for this stuff. And then on the right underneath the house, which would be like right to this area here. So this is good, you know, good enough space. I'm going to start the farm. So I'm going to have the carrot farm. You know, this, what is it, the 9 by 9 farm with the water right in the middle. And I'm going to even go down to um, doing the beets. And also, I'm going to have to eat some fish. Fish is yummy in the morning. <laughs> so even like beets, sorry, squirrel. We are back at my secret mine, hiding underneath the ocean floor somewhere. Minus 600, minus 600. And nobody will ever find it. Minus 600, minus 600. Because I've hidden it so well. Um, and this is where I'm trying to get my diamonds. And as you see, I do have diamond gear. And I finally got a diamond hat. Um, oops. We went major caving and I got some stuff. But at the same time, I don't really have the diamonds. I guess I could make a chess piece, but what I do is I, I made a tunnel 250 blocks long and every fourth one I do a little poke hole looking for stuff and jam doggy is now sleeping and uh, I made the 250 long tunnel here. You can't even see the end because it's so far away. I see these things moving down there. But anyways, um, and I'm going to do the poke holes every four down. So uh, that's like 80 poke holes per side. So like 80, uh, 160 poke holes, poke holes like this, approximately, you know, math and in the morning, whatever. Um, and so my question to you, and I got to go like this when I ask a question is how many diamonds do you think I'm going to get? There's going to be multiple choice and my uh, choices are going to be up in the pole in the top right. And I'm just going to do this whole pathway back with poke holes on each side. And doing the poke holes, how many diamonds do you think I will get? Hey, I am back. I am done doing that diamond run. And let me show you what I got. Um, my guess was uh, like 20 to 40, but I had five before. Or maybe I had eight. I think I didn't get any, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I got no diamonds from all that. Um, but I have a story to tell you, so I'm going to do some more of this digging. And I'm going to do a little time lapse of me getting some diamonds, hopefully. And catch you guys up on why I haven't recorded in, what, 18 days. So, let's get on with the mine. During this montage, I want to tell you about uh, where I went for the few weeks that I went. Basically, um, Hurricane Irma which is a hurricane that hit southwest Florida, made landfall about seven miles away from where I live, and the eye of the storm went over my apartment. We evacuated. I took everything that was important to me, uh, my cats, my two girls, and my computer, and my car, and my guitars. <laughs> and we left. We evacuated. Um, my town was devastated. Um, there's pictures all over the internet. Donald Trump even came here. Even... Though I wish he hadn't. Um, 
But it took um, two to three weeks before we got uh, water back and power. And uh, the internet has been really spotty since it's come back. And that's why I was unable to make videos for a couple of weeks here. And that is um, why I'm trying to catch up now. So I would like to also finish by everybody is, that I know is safe. A couple of my friends did lose their house. Um, but there was a few deaths in my town. Uh, but I didn't know these people. Um, I feel bad for their families and stuff. But things like this happen. And you just got to move on with your life and continue going. And I would like to say that this particular mining... Uh, run was much better than the other one i got so many diamonds and i'm able to get all my gear diamond up all right now i wanted to show you how i got all those materials for uh that montage i've seen people that start out they start out and they don't really get the right um things on their picks when they do their major mining things so what i normally do in a uh, new server or new world so I set up a fishing farm and I at least get like a fortune three pick and then I will uh, start mining seriously because the fortune three pick is the key to it. So what um, <laughs> what I do, God, I don't know the keys in this game anymore. Um, here's my fortune three pick. Uh, I make it efficiency five on breaking. I try and get on breaking and the efficiency five on it right away. Amending is something that you can get later. Then I also make the Silk Touch um, because if you don't have the Fortune 3, you can Silk Touch the ore and somebody on the server may have one. Plus, when you are doing the um, the fishing farm, you get the bows and you can combine the bows. You get some experience uh, levels so you can combine them and uh, you can usually get a decent bow. Um, and it doesn't matter about the, the, uh, axe. I don't care what I get as long as it's like efficiency four and it has unbreaking on it. I don't know why I have a Bane of Arthropods on there. That's kind of interesting. Um, same with the shovel. Sometimes you want a silk touch shovel so you can get like pods oil and grass. So I should put it and make another shovel that's silk touch. Then the sword, you want the looting three sword. You want the sharpness five and the unbreaking on all of these things. Unbreaking on all of these things. Because you can go through it really quick. And um, that's basically how I do the gear. So the first thing I try and do is get a fortune three or the silk touch. And that is the best way to get all the stuff um, that you need for uh, diamonds, mining, and all that other stuff. And that's just basically my strategy for tools and stuff in the game. So I finished my stream, as you can see, I got some vines, vines, vines. I love working with vines. Actually, no, that's nah, just a little something uh, to work with so I can get a particular uh, type of block. But um, this is where the um, fishing farm was. And um, I've done basically half this room. I haven't done the side walls, but um, it's kind of looking like a cave of sorts. I don't know, but um. I moved all the chests. I got to move all that stuff over here also. And I add in the rest of these chests here. I just kind of uh, was running out of time, so I finished the stream quickly. And I am going to change up some of this uh, to make it look a little bit better. And I don't know if I'm going to push these walls out so it's more round. But I'm not going to deal with the walls until I get this side all done like this. So I'm basically trying to get the roof done. And I had to delete Minecraft, so... um. Yeah, uh, I'm getting all these things back again. Oh, jeez, jeez. It's not because I um, updated to 12.2. 112.2? Yeah, yeah, yeah 112.2. I haven't updated that to that yet, but I'm getting all these things because I had to delete my Minecraft so I can get Forge working for my other um, server that I'm working on, which is Dark Times, which is a Lord of the Rings modded server. Go check those out. Those videos will be coming out soon also. But the stream is really fun, and um, I'm going to get to work on the other side. And if you um, are interested in seeing this type of work on that I do outside of videos, uh, follow me on Twitch, KMA's Corner. Basically, everything is KMA's Corner. Um, let's see. Twitter, KMA's Corner. YouTube, KMA's Corner. Twitch, KMA's Corner. MySpace, KMA's Corner. AOL, my KMA's Corner. <laughs> I actually don't use Facebook. 
But anyways, um, next stream I'm going to work on that side and I'll show you what it looks like then. I changed some things in uh, the this house, this beautiful house. Here's those zombies I like to play with that tend to get hurt um, when I touch them. I'm afraid to touch them now because they get hurt because I have the thorns. And they're angry and I don't want to kill them because, you know, they're, they're, it's not... Uh, hardest thing in the world to get these in here but it's also a pain in the butt so once you have you know trapped things like this it's always good to keep them alive as long as possible so what i did is i moved my fishing farm actually the fishing farm is in the same exact place i gotta make it look a little bit better but now i come down this is the only way to get in here and this is where it is it's right here there's you can't go anyplace else and um there's an array of chests that go underneath and let me show you how to get there it's in my basement. I haven't put in the piston yet, but the piston's going in there. And you just do the water drop. And now you're down here with the chest. And the fishing farm is up there. And it drops down here. And the stuff, you know, will eventually go down here. This is the lowest chest. And uh, during the stream today, I finished the roof. I Actually, I can't say I finished it. But it's basically done. I got to do some minor touch-ups. Because there's, you know, that, that area is, needs work and stuff. And I kind of got a basic idea for this design. I'm thinking I'm going to change up the design. But I think uh, to finish off this video, I am going to make the floor. I'm going to do the floor. I'm going to probably round out the corners here. Add some more chests for just the basic stones and stuff. I'm going to round out this corner maybe a little bit. Um, hopefully there's room to do that. Maybe on the edges here, bring up the floor a little bit. I can't do it near the chest. But I guess in the corners here, I can bring up the floor a little bit. Make it look more like a cave and less like a storage room. And uh, in the future, I'm going to put a... This this ladder and this axis is going to go bye-bye. It's stupid. But in the future, I'm going to have a cave here that's going to go to some farms. Um, just the basic farms. So I can have everything that I really want at spawn to work with because you come to spawn a lot and it's uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt if your base is like five minutes away and you're like oh man i forgot so and so and it's at your base and you can just if you can just get it at spawn it's a good thing so i'm gonna get to work on the floor a little bit and uh i'll show you what it is and we'll probably wrap up the video also with the uh armor I don't, I just basically do 30 enchants on the armor, and I just kind of look for the best enchants, and on the helmet, you know, I'll, I should put respiration and aqua affinity on it, I will at some point, um, the, the chest piece, you know, protection 4 is fine, unbreaking 3, I try and get protection 4 at least on most of these things, I didn't realize my helmet was so crappy, but it doesn't really matter because I'm already over the limit of uh, protection I have on my armor because there's only a certain limit that you can have uh, before you really don't get any extra help with the armor and stuff. So, you know, same thing as chest plate, protection for unbreaking, unbreaking on everything. You really want Death Strider 3 and Feather Falling 4 on your boots. I'm going to remake these boots because I hate thorns because a lot of times I, you know, you're playing with... Um, Caught, an uh, caught animals. You hear the zombies down there. You know, I, I, you play around on the server and you get whacked by the uh, zombies. And I, I kept on seeing them getting hurt because they were whacking me. Because, you know, it's just fun getting whacked by a zombie every once in a while. And I was like, oh, I must have thorns on something. And I had them on my boots. But for the boots, really, there I go again with the wrong buttons. Jeez Louise. He is for inventory, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so... For the boots, the main thing is Feather Falling 4 because you're going to eventually fall off of something, at least in the Nether, and Depth Strider 3. Also, the first thing I do when I try and go to the Nether, um, and these are just little strategies I do at the beginning of uh, worlds and servers, is I try and get a couple of Blaze Rods as fast as possible. Find the find the Fortress, get the Blaze Rods, get as um, find a Magma Crew, and what you do, get the um, Nether Wart and you get a way to grow it. You make a uh, fire resistant potion as fast as you can because I do not like going to the nether without it because eventually you're going to screw up. I mean, even I screw up. I've been playing the game for too long already <laughs> at my age. I shouldn't be playing a game like this at my age. Um, but I even fall into lava and having a fire resist potion. And plus, if you're playing on the server, sometimes people troll you and 
put you in lava itself. So it's always good to have the fire resist potion, which I actually I haven't done. And that's why uh, when I was getting uh, Family Craft Dad, um, he lent me some glowstone and I just gave him his glowstone back that he lent me plus a stack of glowstone. And I was like getting glowstone above lava and I was kind of afraid because you can fall into lava. And even with my gear, I don't even know. Fire protection on some of the gear is good. I do have fire protection on the helmet. I don't know if that would really protect me well enough. Should be really fire protection for maybe on the pants or something that would really help you. It really helps with the um, burning and that's a good thing to have. And plus if you, I'm pretty good with creepers, but if you tend to be blown up by creepers, get flash protection on something. <laughs> but I tend, not, t tend to be pretty lucky with creepers unless I'm building. If I'm building something, a creeper's going to land next to me and blow up my build, especially right when I'm done, when I'm looking at it and go, oh, gee, that looks nice. Boom. But that's kind of my basic strategy for the first, I don't know, five hours of play. Not even five hours of play. You can do that all that stuff in like three hours of playing if you are lucky. Um, so that is, I don't go mining, a lot of mining, until I get the Fortune 3. That was basically the whole point of this whole little conversation. I finished the floors and the ceiling uh, for the most part. I added a little rock pile over there and a little rock pile over there and stuff. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm um, pretty soon I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna add some more chests over onto this side. I think this side I'm gonna open up a little bit and have it go into that farming area underground that I was gonna make and it's probably gonna be the same sort of thing. I gotta do some little fixing up here because it doesn't look awesome. I said that in the last little clip, but you know, I gotta haven't done that yet. But um I have the way down there that you remember and I had that little drop shoot that I was gonna make. And uh but I got rid of the this ladders over here. So how am I gonna get out of here now? Um I made myself an elevator. I said when, and the very first thing I said on the server was Tombot was not there, and I'm like, well, Tombot needs to make me an elevator. Well, you know what, Tombot? I made my own elevator. It's not a great elevator. It's not the 2x2 two two elevator that um, I will be making in the future, but it is an elevator, and for those that um, ever come here, if for any chance it's down like this by accident, I mean, it looks kind of nasty. I should actually make this whole back area look a lot better. That will be when I fine tune this place. But bring it back up, and just hit the button, and it, it comes back up. So if you ever come here and you need to go downstairs, that's the way to do it. Um, so because this is where the ladders were to go upstairs, I just moved the ladder over here, and that's my way upstairs. There's a door here, I got rid of the door and added a window so you can keep an eye on Jonas. And um, I only say Jonas because, guess what? Bill is dead. Oh, I'm close enough to a beacon now. What? Uh, ooh, ooh. Then it's a haste beacon too. It's, ooh, ooh. Oh, my nice. Um, that's very good to know. Oh, no, I lost it. I lost it. I wonder where that haste beacon came from. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's too far away. Well, maybe not. Maybe they extend made the beacon bigger. Anyways, <laughs> squirrel. Um, excited that I have a haste because I got a lot of digging to do in front of and ahead of me. So, uh, in order to <laughs> make the elevator there, I had, you know, there's a lot of redstone back there, and I had to push out the building because the building ended right here on this wall. So, oh, hello, Jonas. Bill died, by the way. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you why Bill died. Because um, <laughs> I got uh, distracted by a squirrel. And I was, when I was getting rid of the door, I was trying to make it so I wasn't going to get hurt, and I put a block here by accident, trying to, you know, put a block over here to block them from going in through the door. And of course, um, Bill was super, uh, he, he wanted to come after me, so he came out, and it was daytime, and he burned up. And, and you know, zombie is not too smart, so I'm going to have to replace Bill, because Jonas needs a friend. And angry farmers, and now it's just an angry farmer. Hmm. Uh, so eventually I will replace Bill. I'm sorry, Archangel, for destroying one of my beautiful farmers that you gave me. So this is the extension. Oh, I should probably make that a stone brick like that. I will do that when I come back. Um, I brought this out a little bit. And this isn't something I would do normally for this build, but to kind of patchwork to make something uh, work to expand the building, I think it's, I think it's okay. 
It's not the best thing in the world. I'm gonna change up a couple more blocks there. Um, but it does serves a purpose and it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. And one or two more little changes I have done is I have uh, added this little rock pile because you know, we need rock piles. I had a little rock pile right there. So I got rid of a tree here because it looked like crap and added this little rock pile. And I also made a rock pile over here. And um, there's a purpose to this rock pile because, um, let me show you. Oh yeah, that, that really showed you. Aha, uh -huh. there's redstone underneath there. So uh, why is there redstone underneath there? Let me replace the blocks I just used and get rid of that out of my inventory. And let me show you. Um, there's a button right there. I initially was going to say uh, the button was here. And see ya. See ya, Garden Bunny. Uh, bye. And uh, to wire it up, I couldn't really do it from here. So I wired it up over there. So what you do, you stand on this brick. will be my little secret entrance. You hit the button and you just fall down. And it covers itself automatically back up. Which I think is pretty awesome. Alright guys, sorry that this video took so long. The hurricane delayed me. I'm on episode 2 and everybody else is kind of like on episode 3 or 4. But I should be on schedule now because I did not see any hurricanes. So thank you for watching. And here's a little sneak peek into the little changes of my videos in the future. You'll see what I mean in... After I drop away, have a great day, goodbye.